What do you do when opportunity presents itself? Some are given opportunity. Others must go out and make their own. Justin Harris left Paramus Catholic High School in New Jersey in pursuit of an opportunity. That opportunity was to play Division I basketball. I knew it was going to be a different level, and I was excited and nervous at the same time, but I was ready for the chance to play. You know, so you're coming from high school. You know, what, what was going through your mind now you're a freshman, you're fighting for minutes? Um, I mean, it was sort of the same, same similar situation going into my freshman year of high school. I was, there was a senior laden team and I was a young big man. And I think I was more cocky coming into high school because I was playing on great teams. And I thought that my skill level was enough for me to play like varsity high school basketball. And then so by the time I humbled out, by the time I got to college, it was real different because I was behind a lot of good players that were here before me. Harris found himself behind the likes of Jamie Jackson and Ike Azatan, and for his first two years played sparingly. Going into his junior year, Harris expected that he was going to get his opportunity. What wasn't expected was the emergence of freshman A.J. Sumbry. It's definitely heart-wrenching when you know that coming into your junior year, it's like, all right, Ike and Usman are set two big men because Ike's first, year, first league all-player and Usman's one of the all-time leading scorers, rebounders that come through the school. So it's like you understand that their spot's solidified because they've been producing since they walked in the door. So it was like confusing for me to be put behind a freshman in my junior year. So it was sort of, it was mixed feelings towards the coach and other things like that. Put in perspective, how frustrating was it those three years? It was extremely frustrating because I mean, coming from, coming from out of high school again, People in the Jersey area that watched basketball, they thought that I wasn't dedicated to the game. They didn't think that like it meant that much to me just by like watching me play in scouts like that. So my whole aspect of like going into what I was doing was that I need to prove these people wrong. And I knew that I could produce at this level, but up to that point, I hadn't hadn't had any stats, hadn't done anything. I was averaging like point something point a game, barely playing. So obviously going back home and they're like, oh, like why aren't you playing this and that? It's it's difficult to answer those questions. Harris was going to make his opportunity in his senior year. I mean, it's my senior year. I've been around the block for a long time, and I've done almost everything that I could to play. So I understand the ins and outs of what Coach Moore wanted, what the coaching staff wanted out of me, and I knew I had to accept that leadership role because we already had two freshmen coming in, in the like for big men. So it was like I was propelled into that role with Ike leaving and then there wasn't that second big man to go to really. So somebody had to take over the role and I was more than confident that I was ready to do it being a senior. Once again, it was a new recruit that was given that opportunity. Opening night against Yale, do you feel like you should have started that game? I had a chip on my shoulder when I realized that I wasn't starting coming out that game that like I needed to prove that this is my senior year and I'm 100% 110% dedicated to the team. I'm willing to do whatever it takes for us to win games and I'm willing to sacrifice to put up numbers and to produce to help us win games. And I think that him starting that first game, that kind of was like, all right, maybe I need to put a little more in practice to do a little more because this is my last go around. Like, you don't get another chance, I can't come back. So I was like, it hurt, but I knew I had to do something to get that starting spot. It was only a matter of time until number 22 got that starting spot. After solid performances in the first two games, Harris would go on to start game three at Albany and he would never let go. He would record a career high at Fairfield, scoring 23 points, and he would continue to be an integral part of the team, never relinquishing his starting spot for the rest of the year. What do you take away from these four years? Um, just persistence, I mean, Coming from the situation that I was in where I was literally in mothballs sitting at the end of the bench every day and I, it got to a point my first three years where I came to games knowing that I wasn't going to play no matter what happened, no matter if somebody got in foul trouble, if somebody fouled out, that I, or if we weren't blowing anybody out by 30 plus points, I wouldn't get into the game until the last couple of minutes. But then realizing that I wasn't satisfied with that, I, w I wanted more out of my college experience and I wanted to be able to like, yeah, I played college basketball and I did well. Do you have any regrets from the four years here at Quinnipiac? Any regrets? Um, I guess I could pinpoint times, maybe, saying that I could have went harder in practice, did this and that. 
So I guess my only regret was not playing sooner or not doing what it took to play sooner because sitting around on the bench for three years is not fun no matter what sport you're playing. So it's like you got to understand that these moments are are short and you got to cherish them but you also got to understand that you can't get too excited and enveloped in the emotions of everything that you let it just zoom right by and you don't like you don't realize what's going on. Harris is now searching for opportunities to play overseas and to continue to pursue the sport that he says means everything to him. For Q30 Sports, I'm John Small.